In this video, we're going to be talking about setting up a simple Cubase control room. And in our first tutorial, specifically video number seven, where we set up our audio interface, we did this. We went to F4, which is our VST connections window, and then selected the studio tab and then turned on the control room itself. And then we made sure that we had one monitor bus assigned to our audio interfaces first and second output ports. And when you do that, the output assignments of the stereo output will get disconnected. That's normal. That's just fine. And let me show you why. The stereo output bus is what's assigned to the master fader of the Cubase mixer. And some people make the really easy mistake of using the master fader for their volume control of their studio monitors. In other words, they would go to their mixer and they would be adjusting their speaker volume using the master fader. The problem with that is that if you need to set the master fader low to obtain a comfortable monitoring level, when you do an audio mix down, the mix down is going to be very quiet. So this is a really common problem. People will turn that master fader down and then wonder why their MP3s or their audio CDs turn out really quiet. So instead, there needs to be a way to adjust the master fader for an appropriate export volume and then have a separate control for our studio monitors. Now, some people accomplish this by adjusting the volume output level of their audio interface, and that's certainly a fine way to do it. However, some audio interfaces don't have a master output fader, and therefore the output levels are up all the time, and that's why a lot of people grab this master fader and adjust the volume there. So let me show you what this control room actually accomplishes. When we go back to the studio tab, since we have the monitor output assigned to our physical left and right outputs of our audio interface, that means that this little control down in the transport window, instead of adjusting the master fader level in the mixer, now controls the volume level of our speaker outputs. In other words, it controls the volume playback level of our monitors in the control room, therefore the physical speakers in your studio. So you can quickly adjust the playback level or the monitoring level from the project window or anywhere you see the transport panel just by moving this fader. And then the position of this fader will not affect the export volume of your audio files or MP3 files, and therefore your mix downs will be set to the level of the master fader and not that of your control control room fader. So now that we know how to use the Cubase mixer, let's move on to our next section, which is Cubase recording operations.